Marine biologist Andre Gaich and his research team are gearing up for their next dive. They make dives like this only half a dozen times a year, so they're truly special opportunities. Expeditions are something that I consider as a personal thing. We, we usually plan every dive in a minute. We plan every, every activity, every species that we want to see, film, to take samples, to analyze. They've come to observe the shark and ray populations, which have seen an 85% decline in the region. What they're learning is disturbing. When we got first samples, we got 10 cat sharks from the coast of uh, around this part of the Adriatic Sea. And we cut all the organs and we didn't believe to find anything suspicious. But they were, they were all sick. And that was extremely surprising, not only for us, but for all other colleagues all around, all around the world who is now cooperating with us. And uh, that was not only surprising, but it made us very worried. On an ordinary dive, they descend about 50 meters. There's been relatively little research on the sea life here and virtually no other studies on diseases affecting creatures like the leopard shark or the shortfin mako shark. This is part of the pathological collection at the University of Sarajevo. Scientists here study fish, such as rays or skates, which end up as bycatch in fishing nets. The researchers x-ray them, take CT scans, and study tissue samples under the microscope. One image shows a healthy shark liver, another an unhealthy fatty liver. It is normal to have up to 50% of the fat within the liver. And what surprises most is that they have far more than the 50%. And beside that, you can see the, how the microvesicles actually destroy the cell. They've also found hepatitis and degenerative tissue changes. Around 90% of the tissue samples showed evidence of disease. The researchers have yet to uncover the cause. Andre Gajic says it could take up to a decade to identify the environmental factors that contribute to these diseases. This is one of the Bosnian islands, this one, small. To do this, they'll need to systematically study sharks and stingrays along the entire Adriatic coast, including Croatia and Montenegro. Andre Gajic's research and environmental NGO Shark Lab Adria also includes technicians and students. Today they're out studying sharks. I started with Shark Lab about a year and a half ago. I've been on three expeditions so far and have really learned a lot. They're planning to take another dive this evening. It's highly important to know that uh, we need to dive during the night because uh, during the night we can find more rays. After several hours, they find a number of these marbled electric rays. Its population has also declined dramatically. The town of Neum is on the Adriatic coast. It's a popular holiday destination for Bosnia and Herzegovina. All of the town's sewage flows directly into the sea, some of it unfiltered. The wastewater that we need to deal with, and there is also, uh, there's also need for better law regulations, which will help us to maintain our waste. One cause for the decline of some species is overfishing. The biologists see sustainable fish farms as a possible solution. This one is owned by Ivan Krmek. His family fished here for generations until open water catches declined. Our forefathers fished, but it was different then. 
They fished for themselves, and even they didn't have enough to supply the market. That's why we've started these fish farms. Today we can supply all of Bosnia and Herzegovina with fish. The findings of Andrei Gajic and his team have raised international concern. Now Gajic hopes to open an ocean research institute in his home country. And he hopes that one day biodiversity will return to the Adriatic, so that it will be as rich in species as this marine aquarium.